Well, hello, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword video. Well, last time, we were able to get our fighting badge here. Um, <clears throat> and we defeated Baya, Trainer Baya, in Battle of the... I don't know, what's it, Battle of the Gyms? Yeah, sure. Um, so this time, we'll be exiting the gym, where most likely we'll get a cutscene. Okay, it, it, it's the guess, guys. Who are we going to meet? So we just saw Hop. I don't think I'm gonna see Beide or uh, like Leon anytime soon. I think Master Rose and Alina are probably busy. So I'm guessing we're probably gonna see Marnie or Sonya when we leave. It seems like we're always finding people that we're, we know. But I'll work, and it looks like I was right. It was Sonya. <laughs> it was Sonya or Marnie. Um, I'm like, yeah, I'm relaxing, huh? Anyways, we're running to each other at a good time. You know the moral here on Stolon side? It's said to tell the story of the hero of Galar as well. What a coincidence. Though so what's there today is actually a replica of the ancient art that used to be here. And I tend to be surprisingly and and you tend to have surprisingly sharp insight. So I was wondering what you might think when you see the rumors. Kaboom. Uh oh. That doesn't sound good. What what in the world was that? Not like it came from a direction in the rumors too. Uh, let's have a look. Come on, Yamper. Dude, he off. We better be off too, then. Oh, no music stop, guys. Oh, no, my music didn't stop. What's going on? I heard you were going to come from a direction from a mirror. I'm coming for a surprise event for tourists. Uh, let's not hope it is. Shiny. Max Revive. I guess Max Revive is far more in this game. What's going on up there? What's going on? What happened in the ruin? So, suddenly, big noise are a great way to get people feeling uneasy. Are we finally gonna have a conflict, guys? After four badges, are we finally gonna know what the problem is in this video game? I've, I've seen you before. Are you a gym challenger? Mayhaps. Ooh. Looks like we're seeing Bay too. I don't expect them to see Bay Day, but. Destroy it. Destroy it all. We're gonna find those wishing stars. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, we have Beta here. Um, we've got to bring the chairman more wishing stars if we want to please him. Kaparaja. Kaparaja? Kaparaja? Kapra the elephant Pokemon. Looks like Beta is up to no good, guys. Um, yeah, so, uh, children have been, so uh, I'm gonna... Audio might be a bit quieter, at least my voice. If you're truly a chairman of Pokemon, then you should be grateful for a chance to help him for wishing stars. I wonder if Sonya and Bede are uh, acquainted. Oh my, you again. So I think you can start collecting wishing stars now and get in the chairman's favor. I don't care about wishing stars, my guy. I just want, you know, I want to help Sonya out, I guess. That's, <laughs> that's my mission right now. That's the way of things, is it? I see. So you, so you do have some cunning in you, but I won't have it. I won't let anyone stand in my way. I guess we battle with Beta here. Um. Oh, oh, Dulcin. Oh, Dulcin, Dulcin, Dulcin. That's the evolved form of um, Solosis. I don't want my toxicity dying here, so we're gonna switch right away into our um. Under our Cinderins here. And they're probably gonna use Calm Mind or something. Or they go straight for that. Oh, they use Reflect. That's gonna severely weaken my physical moves here. That's fine. We're gonna still Pyro Ball this guy in the face. Um, nice. Nice not missing. Again, Py Pyro Ball has like 85% accuracy. But not missing is very good. And it looks like even with the Reflect, I was still able to one shot the illusion. Oh, I've already seen more than enough to judge you in your team's ability. Good. How about you beat me then? Um, we're gonna go with, um... Okay, we'll stick with the Cinder instead. Gotharita. Can we Dynamax? No, we can't Dynamax. I'm just gonna go with the Flame Charge here. I'm not too threatened by the Gothita here. I'm just trying to use Rock Tomb. 
Okay, r right as I raise my speed, my speed gets lowered. Okay, I see how it is. Boy, we're gonna go with no flame charge here. <clears throat> I just kind of want to stall until the reflect wears off, so then I can summon, um, or I can use, uh, Serena here. So I'm just kind of stalling a little bit. Special defense, lowered, super potion. That's fine. I'm not gonna heal that much. I say that and it heals a lot. But it's only a super potion, not even a hyper potion. Come on, guy. Team Reflect wore off. Now this, this is gonna kill it. Because uh, the Reflect was really weakening my attacks. So we got it. Um, Serena grew a level here. Ponyta. I think we can go out, because we know Ponyta's fairy. We can go out with the Serena, I guess. And, uh, Ponyta, not Rabidash yet. I'm gonna chop kick it. It looks like a one shot of Ponyta. <laughs> I need to lower the volume here. Not raise it, but lower it. Looks like hat, hat to learn. Looks like this guy hat to evolve into hat and learn or something. So we got Al Creamy here. I have to win this for the chairman. Do you really think I'll let you something? I wish they let you read that more. I really did. It looks like their hat Pokemon 35. Yeah, it looks like Dazzling Gleam. I'm just gonna Dazzling Gleam it. And that's really good damage. My partner moves something splendid. What did you say? Psybeam? Did barely any damage. And we're gonna go with Dazzling Green again. Yeah, again, of course. Pop was a joke. The gym leader was kind of a joke. And this guy's a joke. <laughs> My mom Pokemon is a bit too overloaded, guys. That was the Manhattan that grew. Four in special attack. This has to be some kind of mistake. I demand a do over. You wanna fight again right away? I don't even need my Pokemon healed. I can beat you again. Trust me. Then why? How can this be? How can someone like you get in my way? Three times, by the way, three times. I was the one who was my chairman. I was the one who, who was to defeat the champion. I'm one of the elite. Someone who can show the future of the gallery region. Challenge your beta. I think like, only Nina's up here. I was wondering what you were up to when uh, you asked to borrow Chairman Rose Kapuraha. Really? He chose to borrow Chairman Bros' Pokemon. I can't believe you try to use the Chairman Pokemon to destroy a historic site. Who, who cares for some ancient ruins when the next thousand years are at stake? What do you mean? Did you stand in the path of a Pokemon simple beam or what? How do you expect to support the channel with that sort of thinking? Chairman, you rape the monster. Young baby. It pains me to have to say this, but I am truly disappointed. It's true that I'm the one who found you back when you were all alone. I saw talent in you. You saw talent in him? <laughs> I don't see any of that talent. You reminded me of a little bit of myself back when I was young. And that's why I sent you to a trainer school to give you a chance of success. But to destroy a moral part of Gala's history, you show no love toward Gala. Oh my gosh. Finally, Vanny getting put in this place. You're clearly not worthy. You are clearly not a worthy challenge. Oh my goodness, that's a gym challenge. We will we will decide what to do with you later. For now, you you will return to Hammerlock. Yeah, look at those wide eyes. This dude is spooked. Dude, you must be joking, right? You you're disqualifying me from a gym challenge, but you're the one who endorsed me. There are a hundred different ways you could have sorted this out. Why are you choosing the worst possible option? I mean, he did have a really good advantage against this fourth gym leader, so... He's probably gonna- he's probably doing well, too. 
Challenger baiting. I will be taking those wishing stars that you've gathered. And Sonya and me are kind of watching this in the background. Like, yeah. Oh, Sonya, included too. Terribly shame. All oh, this the absolute disaster. I never wish to see us lose challenges for this sort of reason. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you gotta, you gotta instill discipline for these gym challenges because it is an honor to be endorsed and to be participating in it. Yet yeah, we do have what we must do to keep things fair and sportsmanlike. You know. During one of Beatty's matches, I heard the announcer say that Beatty, Beatty has no family. Apparently, it was Rose who took Beatty under his wing, and so Beatty was battling for the tournament's sake. What an awful turn of events. I hope the Moros survive all that. I think only this bottom part got hit. Whoa. Uh oh. Whoa, I'm surprised the stones didn't just fall on her and she died. But we're getting a cutscene. Interesting. Hmm, her thinking face. Apparently there were statues behind that mural. So it was a good thing that Betty broke it? I don't, I don't know what's going on. He's probably going to say something intelligent like, Oh, the Sword and Shield were Pokemon. Like, we didn't even know that. Okay, I mean, I'm playing... Like, I, I, I picked up the box of the game. So I kind of know what, what's going on. Not a brilliant return of events, but the runes were brought into the light for us to see. What does this tell us about Galar's legend? Pokemon? A sword and shield? This response is so sad. I'm gonna say Pokemon though. Right, more than any hero, um, there's those things that appear to be Pokemon that stand out. Not just that, but those Pokemon appear to be holding a sword and a shield as if they were using them. Anything interesting to you? Um, the hero was actually two people, the same as the tapestries, uh, same as tapestries, I don't know. Oh, good observation. There are really two heroes, but if that's the case, then why there's only one statue at the BD drop-in? Again, the BD drop-in has one statue, it doesn't mean that that's what it, that's what the history is all about. More than any statue, um, of a, of a hero or old tapestry, this ruin may made in truly ancient times must show us the real truth which means the shield is a pokemon the sword is a pokemon i mean both options seem right to me but since we're playing sword the sword is a pokemon yep that was what i was thinking I feel like at some point in history the sword and shield were combined into an, two actual pokemon and treated as the same thing but then what they just faded from history two young heroes the sword and shield were actually pokemon why well, would the truth of these ruins be hidden when the stories were depicted in artwork? With your help, I really feel like we made a big discovery here. Thanks. I'll give you a couple of things. I can give you a couple of these. So you keep giving it your best in the gym challenge too, okay? Um, guess you'll be headed to Balonlia next, right? To revise. Thanks. In the statue that were hidden behind Stolen Sight's famous mural. They depict two heroes and two Pokemon. Oh, I didn't even see the two people. See the two people? I only saw one person. But yeah, there's two people and two Pokemon. That young lady, Sonya, she's researching to about the ruins, right? Could she be the granddaughter of the Professor Magnolia? Wait, is she the, like the actual biological grandmother? Or or what? So, there was long, there was history being covered all by Orsite artwork. I'm gonna have to look into some more. I feel it's more artistic before it got destroyed. Oh, what is this? The hero is actually two human Pokemon. Yeah, so it looks like we've discovered. I don't know. What have we discovered? Nothing really, kind of. I mean, <laughs> we know. We, I mean, I like, we've personally seen a legendary Pokemon. You know that jazz, so it's not really a surprise here. Um, but it looks like I am just going to heal up here, and we will make our way to Balonlia. This video is still very young, I believe. Wait, wait, wait. This is a second recording, because I had to disrupt the first one. Um, but that's fine. I think we're going to continue going then. Is sing Balonlia. I wonder if there's a gym there. We didn't really get um, any mention of a gym 
being there. But we know it's north of this place. So north was Bologna, yeah. It looks like there was, there is a gym. But we're gonna have to go through a forest or a route or something. But anyways, yeah, pretty funny. Beta acting a bit reckless there. Trying to greed some, um, greed some wishing stars. And he was finally put in this place by none other than the chairman himself. I got a crack pot. Um, protect the teapot that can make certain speeds of pulling above. It may be cracked, but tea poured from it is delicious. Okay. Looks like we can go all the way down here. Interesting. I saw some Diglas back there. I don't know if that's important or not. But yeah, okay. Let's just go this way then. If you want to go to Bologna, you need to make your way to the Glenwood Tango. Remember, in Glenwood Tango, it's important to touch the mushrooms. Important to touch the mushrooms. That feels like a trap somehow. No, but we're, we're off, guys. We're off. Glenwood Tango. It's dark, guys. I'm sorry if the video is going to turn out horrific. Touch the mushroom, guys. <gasps> oh, it makes it bright. Oh, wait a minute. This place looks familiar. This place looks like um, the place I was showing in that live stream, right? I guess we'll, we'll run toxicity here. Now, let's see what's up. Let's see what's up, guys. Whoa, it's some more ground. It's an interesting looking Pokemon. 35. Wow, okay, these Pokemon are getting high in level here. 35? I think um, Bea's strongest Pokemon was level like 35, right? Looks like they swagger me to confuse me here. Hopefully I don't hurt myself because this is going to do a lot of damage. Nope, looks like I was wearing a Thunderbolt here. Um, it killed the Morgrim. It's not really what I wanted to happen. Um, but I guess that's fine. Ooh, look at that. What? Oh, the Pokemon came out of it. You know, they attacked me too. It's an Impidimp. What's with all these humanoid looking Pokemon, guys? What? Why did everyone have to stand on two legs and have two arms and have like human proportions? Um, I guess I should be nuzzling these Pokemon. Yeah, perfect. It's gonna paralyze them too. Swagger again. I wonder if this Pokemon evolved in the Pokemon we just met. Um, I'll check in the Pokedex real quick, but. Seems a bit worried about the battle, dude. Very fine. Oh, I should probably stock up on Pokeballs too. I should have looked at the shop to see if there's any new items. That's my mistake, guys. But I think the balls we have now should be fine. Oh, we caught the Impidimp. Yeah, Silicobra good level here. Maybe I'll use Silicobra, but let's come on level up first. Dark and Fairy, a Willy Pokemon. Through its nose, it sucks in the emanations produced by people. What? Emanations Anim produced by people in Pokemon when they feel annoyed. It dies off of negative energy. Oh. Pretty ugly Pokemon, I'm not gonna lie here. I'm very interested. Is um, it looks like Forfeit evolves into Surfetch. Maybe evolve, maybe a, an, an item evolution. Um, but yeah, Morgram evolves into. Or Impidem evolves to Morgram here. Yeah, I'm not gonna touch these mushrooms, guys. Uh, I don't wanna run into Pokemon. But hopefully, that recording looks okay here. Looks like there's a shiny back there that I missed. Two full heals, that's nice. Um. The Pokemon there, an item here, big root. Um, if I use moves that suck HP, the big root's gonna make me heal more HP, which is nice. Another Morgan. Um, again, fairy and dark. I think that's an interesting type, but not the best type in the world. I mean, that's a pretty good typing, actually. That's a really good typing. Looks like we got a dub battle here. Um, 
swap the out me here. The railways are amazing, they can carry a lot of people and pull them at once. I come to ride in Gallery Train. I wonder if meeting you will change my life. Wait, what? Okay, Jacqueline and Robert? Night Tales and Curlia. Um. Punk Rock. Yes, okay, so we're going to use the T Bolt on the Curlia because it's psychic type. And we want to kill the psychic Pokemon first to, uh, for our tr toxicity not to, um, get hurt by psychic moves. Looks like we did just that. Looks like able to go level two. And the night tails here is gonna get dazzling gleamed. Boom. Not very effective. I probably should use Psy Shock, but I want to be safe and kill that Curly. Um, use Incinerate. Critical here on El Creamy here. But I didn't do that much because I'm cleaning again with that high special defense. Um, we're gonna poison jab Night Tails here and Psy Shock it. Poison jab. Um, Toxicity um, base attack is actually pretty good compared to like it seems like it's it's a pretty decent mixed attacker. Um, I'll still prefer Sludge Bomb, but yeah, not bad. You would have forgot the trouble with this loss. It would be the right train. Too strong. Guess I look for someone I can actually beat. What's your one level thirty two curly? Uh, yeah, good luck. Um, maybe he won't. Ooh, shot. I wonder that mushroom is special. More mushrooms here, guys. Oh my god, this place like actual maze. Um, I just keep going this direction. I just hugged the left path, guys. That's all I did. It looks, it looks like hugging the left left path. Got me to uh, Bolonia. Um, I really didn't do much. I just hugged the left path, like I said. Looks like we have the fairy gym here. We see the logos fairy, I believe. Um, yeah, I, I guess I'll go back and fully explore the Glenwood Tango here. We only really caught one Pokemon, which was that Impa Glimp or whatever it's called. I think there's a TM up there that we missed. Let's see if we can get to that somehow. Two hyper potions, that's good. Looks like down here is a trainer battle. Um yeah, this area seems pretty small though. It's so dark though, I don't like that. Indeedy? Okay, so it looks like Indeedy is that Pokemon we've seen a few times. Um not fairy apparently. Or uh, not um not um Adi knows uh his Galorian form. It looks like it it, it fainted in one hit, so nothing strong. Now another Pokemon here. We'll use Serena here. Didn't quite catch the name, but that's fine. Indeedy, another one, okay. You use a chop kick here. Which one, chop kick or thunderbolt? Which one does more damage? Probably thunderbolt, honestly. But the chop kick also does really good damage anyway. So, Banana lets me react in sad ways when we're defeated. Okay, indeed, he is chilling up there. That's pretty scary. Um. In Indeedy. Wait, is it Indeedy? What is it called again? Omorigan. Level 38. That's a pretty high level one too, guys. Um. Level 38. So I guess here is a really good place to capture strong Pokemon. Um, but it looks like a shiny here. Uh, Luminous Root. It boosts special attack when it's doing the- or special defense- Oh, it went down. It boosts special defense when the user is hit by a water move, and it can only be used once. So again, another battle item that you really don't want to use, um, that you really don't want to use normally. It looks like we found TM56 U-Turn. Um, so it's an attack that when you use it, you switch out your Pokemon to another Pokemon. Which, um, when used correctly could be really interesting. So I am going to see if I can teach it on, uh, Serena here. I wouldn't mind teaching her U-turn. 
I might get rid of Peter Dance here. Um, because I like the Rapid Spin. Actually, I'll get rid of the Rapid Spin. I think it's time to get rid of the Rapid Spin. I was going to say, I like Rapid Spin because of a weak attack, so I don't kill Pokemon. But I think I'll just teach her the U-turn here. We're also yet to go down. So, like, down here. See if there's anything down here. Another TM, really. Wow. Snore. Uh, so, basically, when your Pokemon's sleeping, um, it, it can only work when your Pokemon's sleeping. But as an attack, it does, like, a little bit of damage. Um, so, a really bad move. Because you need to, like, have your Pokemon sleep. It was really inconsistent to use. It looks like we have a chef over here. Uh, two TMs in this area. Interesting. It looks like they have a milk raid. Of course they would. It looks like we have Serena up here. 33. Chalk kick should kill it. Milk raid has no defense and HP. Yep. I'm sorry, milk raid. Um, the thing is, Fairy type gym up next. I do have a Pokemon that's super effective on um, Fairy Pokemon, and that's Toxtricity. Toxtricity is Poison type, which is good against Fairies. But it looks like they have a Sinus T. A Sinus T. I want this Pokemon. This Pokemon looks cool. Um, we did get a Broken Teapot, which might be an evolution to this Pokemon. That might be a Pokemon to watch out for here. A what? A Shinotic? Shinotic? Oh, oh, this is, a, this is an old Pokemon. This is old news, guys. It's a Pokemon from Sun and Moon, I believe. We're gonna U-turn it. Oh, I'm surprised that... I assume it's grass, but it must be poison or something. We'll go with the Cinderins here. Again, yeah, that's what U-turn does. It does damage, and then you switch out your Pokemon. Looks like they use Astonish. Which did no damage. Uh, and we'll just go to flame charge here. It's not grass. Oh, it is grass. So maybe you turn. Maybe it's like grass and bug. So you turn wasn't very effective. There's like effect for effect sported poison my cinderins though. But hey, we got it. Um, cook dare case strong train is rare and rare mushroom. Thank you. It looks like our. <laughs> Our Impedent is going to evolve after just leveling up a bunch of parts, right? But yeah, there we go. I guess we got ourselves a, our own Morigram here. Um, Devious Pokemon still dark and fairy. When it gives, when it gets down on all fours, and if to beg for forgiveness, it tries to lure points in so that it can stab him with spear like hair. Interesting. Full Surrender, guys. What is that move? Dark does 80. No accuracy, so it never misses. Wow. Pretends to bow his head and stabs the user with, um, disheveled hair. Interesting. Interesting. That's a, an, a, a move that does 80 damage that never misses. That's a very strong move. Um, most moves that don't miss usually don't do that much damage. Or usually a week. Look at that's it. Another Morgan over there. So there's an item over there. I want it, but how do I get to it? It's so dark you can't see anything, guy. Maybe go down here. Yeah. Big wild patch of grass here. Can I go back here for something? Nope. We'll see if there's a new Pokemon here. It is. It's a Shinotic that we ran into earlier. In battle, I should say. I'm kind of lazy to weaken it. So we are going to try to throw a quickie. Quick ball at it here. If it doesn't capture, we're just going to hit it. I'm trying to use a Dusk Ball here. Maybe Dusk Balls work well. Because it's Dark Force. But it doesn't matter. Because the Quick Ball got it. And I also got a nice XP from that too. <laughs> the Silico was still gaining levels too. I forgot I had the Silico on there. Um, Illuminating Pokemon? It flickers. Oh, it's Grass and Fairy. Interesting. 
It flickers for uh, it, its flickering spores lower and prey and put them to sleep. Once this Pokemon has its prey snoozing, it drains their vitality with its fingertips. Ew. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Oh, I don't want to fall. Bright powder. Um, it glares. Th it casts a tricky glare that lowers the opposing Pokemon's accuracy. So yes. I'm curious what that Pokemon was now. Lowers accuracy. Interesting. I have another one of these guys. So I think at, at this point, I think we should head out here. Um, I want to do a montage video where I capture a lot of Pokemon that I'm yet to discover in the Pokedex. I think that might be a little bit of a fun thing to do, so I might do that a little bit after this. Um, cause there's a few Pokemon I want to capture that I just haven't captured yet. Um, but yeah. Anyways, thank you so for watching this episode. And we'll go to the gym here. We'll see if. Look at that. It's that mushroom Pokemon. Oh, look at that Pokemon up there. It was a squid. It's like a Pokemon on the roof. Oh, I love this place. There's Pokemon everywhere. Blue mushroom, mysterious Pokemon. They're all the pranks of fairy Pokemon. If you get lost in Tinglewood, it's probably the work of fairy Pokemon. I wasn't that bad to navigate. I was lured into town quite unexpectedly. This place is a bit hard to describe. Let's see what we can buy now that we beat the gym leader. We can buy hyper potions now. It's nice. Yeah, but anyways, like I said, we we got to this town. We kind of we saw Bayday and Sonya. A little bit of conflict there. Sonya getting some discoveries and and Bayday getting absolutely destroyed by Rose. So hopefully next time we can continue exploring this town here and um, I don't know, maybe that Pokemon capture montage will happen. So ye oh. so yeah, see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Like I said, we're on um, Balonlia. Interesting time.